First at four, a terrifying house fire. Five small children injured, and they weren't the only ones. We're tracking their conditions and the search for a cause. Ben. Karen, with just a little bit of sunshine, is this the best we've got for the rest of the forecast? We've got some big speed bumps over the weekend to look at coming up. Paula? Okay, gamers, and even if you're not a true gamer gamer, get off the sofa, stop playing the game, and become part of the game. I'm going to take you to a new world of virtual reality. Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News First at 4 starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Drew. First at four, this house fire leads to terrifying moments for a Detroit family with five children rushed to the hospital. This happened at Pembroke and McIntyre in northwest Detroit. The children were all four years old or younger with one little girl just four months old. All are stable after suffering from smoke inhalation. We're told the fire started as two adults at that house were sleeping. One woke up and pulled the children from the home. The man was like, kept screaming, like, wake up, wake up, wake up. And I turned around to see what was going on and, and I seen a child. So I, it seemed like he was trying to get life into the child, so he kept shaking the baby. One firefighter also suffered minor injuries. Investigators say the fire might have started with one of the kids playing with a space heater or lighters inside that home. In Highland Park, police say a bar owner shot and killed a robbery suspect overnight. It happened at the Woodward Bistro. Investigators say the owners of the bar were counting money at the end of the night when a 33-year-old Highland Park man pulled a gun and demanded cash. We're told the man then pointed the gun at a bar employee. That's when the owner pulled his own gun, firing multiple shots, killing the robber. One bullet grazed a bar employee who was treated at the hospital. The investigation continues to see if the bar owner might face charges. Governor Gretchen Whitmer says she wants to put more money in the pockets of Michigan families. What we are doing today is showing that we are going to take the leadership uh, of ensuring that we are have, have overtime rules and policies that protect people. Governor plans to create a sliding scale that starts with $51,000 as the threshold for overtime pay. It could take up to a year to hammer out the details as lawmakers work with businesses on the proposal. Results keep trickling in as UAW workers across the country vote on that new contract. We are now 24 hours from the voting deadline. General Motors workers in Flint, Lansing and Saginaw have all voted to approve the deal. The Flint local is the second largest in the nation, so it's a good sign the contract will likely be ratified. Deadline is tomorrow at 4. Not sure when the final tally will be made public, but stay tuned to Local 4 and click on Detroit.com for results. Well, we survived a few days of really strong winds, and now we are in the calm before the next storm. Meteorologist Ben Bailey standing by with our first forecast. Hi, Ben. Yeah, Karen, uh, things have definitely calmed down. We've even got a bit of sunshine, but temperatures are pure October out there. There's no doubt about that. We're in the mid-50s little bit below average for what we would typically see for this time of year, but at least these are single digits and not the double digits plus that we were looking at for the last couple of days. Things will continue to be smooth right on into the upcoming weekend, and that does include tonight. Cool and calm will go down to the mid 40s by midnight. We've got some pretty chilly nights ahead. We'll look at that. We've got a ton of rain coming for the weekend, how that's going to impact a lot of events going on. And Halloween is still a dice roll, but we'll take a closer look at it in just a few minutes. Karen. President Trump seems to be thanking House Republicans for a stunt on Capitol Hill. Nearly two dozen lawmakers stormed a closed hearing Wednesday afternoon. Today, the president tweeted in part, quote, Thank you to House Republicans for being tough, smart, and understanding in detail the greatest witch hunt in American history. Republicans were breaking House rules to delay testimony in the impeachment inquiry. Over in the Senate, Trump ally Lindsey Graham is planning to introduce a resolution condemning the process, while Democrats say they could be ready to start public hearings by mid-November. We'll keep you posted on ClickOnDetroit.com as well as here on Local 4. Members of Congress and the public are paying their respects to the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. His flag-draped flag casket arrived at the Capitol building this morning where he lies in state in the Statuary Hall. Son of sharecroppers is the first African American lawmaker to receive that honor. Today he's being remembered for his work in Congress and as a champion for his beloved Baltimore. Elijah Cummings did not just represent Baltimore, he embodied it. He celebrated its victories, sought to advocate for its needs, 
and worked to heal its wounds. And today, I have no doubt that he is dancing with the angels and wishing us Godspeed as we pursue the making of a more perfect union, establishing justice, employing mercy, and walking humbly. Cummings' funeral will be held tomorrow in Baltimore. Former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton are scheduled to speak. Here at home, you can do just about anything and go just about anywhere with a quick trip to a new family business over in Pontiac. The owners are plunging into the world of virtual reality, and they're hoping many of you will go along for the ride. Our Paula Tupman has taken the plunge, and she joins us live. Paula. Hey, Karen. Okay, so I can't really see you because what I'm really seeing is I can see this beautiful scenery around me. Like I can go underwater, and then I can come up, and then I can go underwater, and then actually, all right, so now I can see these fish. All right, and so I'm gonna try to swim to these fish. So this is called 4D, and this basically gets you away from just playing a game and really putting you inside the game. You're not looking at other people, you actually become the star. Go deep sea diving without getting your hair or your feet wet. Fight zombies and ninjas with all the adrenaline of a street fight. Break a sweat and then reach for a soda pop only five feet away. Learn how to spell in the virtual kid playground. Excitement of being in a whole nother world, um, the story modes, you know, where you can be the star of your own movie. Stop gaming on the sofa and get into the game this weekend as VR Life opens in Pontiac, across from the old Summit Place Mall. The Lorries are familypreneurs who realize they spent a lot of time on the couch. As long as we will let them, they are plugged in and sitting down like couch potatoes. And saw an opportunity to get exercise. And I've taken 524 steps and I'm sweating right now. Have fun and teach their children the game of business. My oldest son, he's 17. He's on one of our workers, he's a game tech. Sheree, who has a business degree, wrote a knockout business plan and became the very first recipient of the Great Lakes Women's Business Council's expanded seed lending program, which can now loan businesses up to $250,000. Hubby Jack doubles as brain and brawn, and the husband and wife dynamic duo also own a party rental business in Southfield. With this, they decided to branch out in the hot virtual reality space. You can Let's say uh, shoot zombies, uh, sword fight, um, you draw pictures, Google Earth, you can go on and look at the Eiffel Tower, go to Brazil, or anywhere you imagine. The grand opening is this Saturday, where gamers will be able to play nearly 100 different games. You can play individually or with up to seven people. The Omni Active Experiences actually allows you to game. You can move 360 degrees in an interactive, realistic, virtual workout. The machines will even track how many miles you've run, chasing those zombies or being chased. You put on special slippers on your shoes and you can run as fast as you can and it feels like you're literally dropped in the middle of a video game. You know, this is, this is so incredible. I mean, I, I am breathing underwater and I'm dancing with fish right here. Even as I breathe, the bubbles float to the top. I can see floxum and jetsam on the water. So, so Karen, it opens again this Saturday. Uh, they have walk-ins, no doubt about it, but we're gonna put a link uh, to their website on our social media platform. Here comes those fish again. On, their so on our social media platforms, because probably in the early days, it's best to pre-reserve your spot so that you can get in and know exactly what time you need to be here. But kudos to this family, this family, familypreneurs for bringing this to Pontiac and to the region. I love it, and I love the fact that it's great for gamers, but there's also educational games for kids who want to work on their spelling and all that other kind of good stuff, so it's a little bit for everyone. I'll let you go back and have some more fun, Paula. Okay. Go back to swimming. Okay. What a great story. Thanks so much. Well, Local 4 and NBC are teaming up for a really special event. It's going on tonight, and our Kimberly Gill has a quick preview. 
Hi, Karen. Good afternoon. We are here at the Henry Ford in the Anderson Theater where we just wrapped up our dress rehearsal for Education Now Detroit. It is a town hall discussion. Uh, we're teaming up with NBC News Learn to discuss all sorts of things that are dealing with education, everything from chronic absenteeism to how to best support our teachers, as well as how to support children who may be going through issues uh, at home. It is an event that takes place tonight. You can watch it live on click on Detroit.com beginning at six o'clock as well as on air starting at seven. So we hope you'll join us reporting from the Henry Ford Kimberly Gill local four. Still ahead, some of us complain about holiday stuff creeping into October, but you probably won't complain about the early discounts. Also, farmers carrying guns. We'll talk about the connection between these armed checkpoints and something that might end up on your dinner table. A first, a Michigan man in a Russian prison. What he says about his treatment behind bars and a new decision from the court in Moscow. We'll be right back. Tomorrow at 6 a.m., we're going to go inside of this local nonprofit and show you how they're educating Detroit students about these and explain why you shouldn't be scared. Halloween 2019, the hottest costumes, the Joker. This is flying off the shelves. Next in Sun Edition. Coming up next on Local 4. Calling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has earned the FCA Customer First Award for Excellence certified by J.D. Power. That's the Galling difference. Only at Galling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Your Ram store. During Ram Power Days, drive off in the 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4. Now just $199 a month employee, $259 friends and family. Or at least the 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 for only $329 a month employee, $389 friends and family. Get to Galling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bloomfield Hills or Chelsea today. Gardner White crushes the competition. You get monster savings on furniture your family will love. This weekend, take a whopping 25% off. That's an extra discount right off the sale price, including new arrivals. All leather, extra 25 off. Power reclining comfort, 25 off. Amish bedrooms and dining sets, you get 25 off solid wood. Top quality, colossal price cuts, unprecedented value. Forget the so-called sales. Save now at the monster sale. Friday and Saturday, only at Gardner White. If you were seriously injured in a car accident, who would you want on your team? You'd want someone who's gonna listen, you'd want someone who's gonna fight for you, and you'd want someone who can win. If you've been injured in a car accident, pick up your phone and give us a call right now. And remember, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Call 855-75-EP-LAW. Because at Ali and Ponto, we don't win. Unless you do. Diamonds at their lowest price in years. Half carat solitaires are now $3.99, one carat $7.90, two carat $9.50 per carat, plus one carat studs $3.99. Insane prices on thousands of GIA diamonds and designer rings. Buy direct the Jewelry Exchange Livonia. Um, Dad, I think prices are falling at the Carpet Guys. Are they really? You heard right. Now at the Carpet Guys, get massive warehouse discounts of up to $800 off new flooring for your entire house. Take advantage of falling prices. Hi, I'm Matt Garkle with Bill Brown Ford in Livonia. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and to show our support, Bill Brown Ford will be donating a portion of every new vehicle purchased to the Comprehensive Breast Center and In Spirit Salon and Spa at St. Mary Mercy, Livonia. These outstanding facilities support women throughout their medical journey, offering an array of medical and therapeutic products and services. So help us put breast cancer in the rear view mirror. Visit BillBrownFord.com to make your own donation today. More than ever, we're proud to be your Ford dealer. New at five. Lead in our drinking water, local alerts being issued, but is the water in your neighborhood safe? What you need to know coming up in my Help Me Hank report. All right, thank you, Hank. You are looking at another frustrating court appearance for a Michigan man being held in Russia. There is no chance Paul Whelan is getting out soon, and he claims he's the victim of human rights violations. Whelan is the Novi man who was taken into custody on espionage allegations last year. He says he was framed. Today, he spoke out in court about his treatment in prison. The important part today is human rights violations in the prison. The fact that the Moscow prosecutor refuses absolutely refuses to talk to me about human rights violations that are occurring in the we'll prison. You. I'm the victim of an assault by a prison agent. In spite of his pleas, the Moscow court says he will be held until at least December 29th. He's been in custody since last December 28th. 
He's awaiting a trial that could send him to a Russian prison for 20 years. Now, we all know avocados have become a really big cash crop as Americans just love their guacamole. But take a look at the unintended consequences of the avocado's popularity. Growers in Mexico are carrying AR-15 rifles to protect their crops against thieves and drug cartels. This area is in heartland of avocado production, which the locals call green gold. Increased avocado sales have drawn parts of Mexico out of poverty, but now farmers need armed checkpoints to protect their livelihood. Unintended consequences for sure. Now let's talk about some weather stories that are making headlines across America. We will start in Northern California, where a wildfire exploded in size overnight. The so-called Kincaid fight grew from 1,000 acres to about 10,000. High winds of up to 70 miles an hour are spreading those flames. Helicopters flew over the massive fire in the daylight. About 1,700 residents are under mandatory evacuation orders. The fire came during another round of intentional power outages, trying to prevent those electrical sparks. Now let's go to just near Denver, Colorado. Oh, makes you cold just looking at it. People getting a taste of winter weather. Snow showers have created a slippery mess up to six inches expected by this morning. And part of the big interstate 70 was closed after several cars spun out. Still in short sleeves in the snow. You know what? You can't commit yet, I, right? Yeah, like, I understand. He's like, you know what? It's not that bad. Just a few flakes. I wish I could say the same about this weekend. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. There's so many Halloween activities and cider mills and all yeah. that good stuff to do. And I'd say do it very early or do it very late in the weekend. Okay. Because the middle is going to be the problem. Yes. So we'll go through the timing of it here in just a second. The temperatures, at least in the short term, really not that bad. Mid 50s, just a couple degrees away from what we would typically see for average highs this time of year. Coolest number there in Sandusky at 52. But we're smooth sailing through Friday. We really don't have any issues with the winds. Not expecting any rain for the rest of the work week. Just going to be seeing some clouds mixing up with, we'll call it limited sunshine here uh, from now through Friday. And the fall color, of course, looks gorgeous. So if you want to go out and see it, uh, now may be the time because as we get into the weekend, not going to be conducive to leaf peeping, at least in the southern portion of the state. That's for sure. So let's start timing this out. The rest of tonight, tomorrow, fantastic. Uh, no problems at all. Typical October weather. But once we get into the weekend, we start out dry on Saturday. This is 8 a.m. We're going to see some clouds around, especially starting to move in from the south zone. But at least we'll spend the first half of Saturday dry. So if you can do the cider mill, going to put up Halloween decks, may want to do it then because we get into the noon, 1 o'clock hour. We'll start seeing those rain showers spread from the south zone up. Of course, we've got two big games here, Michigan and Michigan State, both at home. Michigan State, the earlier kickoff at 330. You're going to be seeing that uh, shower activity pushing in pretty much as that game starts, and then it's going to be solid rain. Same goes for uh, Michigan down in the big house, and that game kicks at 730. Both games are going to be slop fest, continuous rain pretty much throughout the game with some gusty winds. The good news is we're not anticipating a whole lot in the way of thunder and lightning, so they may play straight through that, which is not going to be fun for anybody, but at least uh, they should be able to avoid some lengthy delays. Now we go into Halloween, and if you were watching us yesterday, we were concerned about the possibility of seeing some snowflakes mixing in. Newest run of the European model still has us wet and a little bit breezy, but at least we're skipping out on some of those snowflakes, which is good. And the American GFS model continues to be completely different, keeping all the precipitation away from us, even lighter winds and drier conditions. Both models suggesting, though, we are going to see below average temperatures as we get into next Thursday. Tonight, 41 with mostly cloudy skies. We've got a light north wind. Not going to see any problems with that wind tomorrow at 56. But as we go into Friday night, Saturday morning, this is before that rain shows up on Saturday, we've got some cold temperatures. In fact, Metro Zone at 36 waking up Saturday morning. But look at how many spots show up below freezing. Pretty much all of Lenawee County in the low 30s. West zone, you're going to be waking up in the low 30s as well. Just barely above freezing there in Novi and Canton. And it's going to be chilly in the north zone. At least we'll stay away from the 20s on Saturday morning. Milder temperatures coming with that rain. 60 on Sunday and then generally in the 50s as we head towards Halloween. It's going to be chilly on Thursday. Still question as to whether we get that rain on Halloween, Karen. All right, thank you, Ben. Still ahead, holiday savings arrive early. A huge retailer launching its first discounts tomorrow. We'll talk about some free shipping as well. This celebrity couple saw something online that brought them to tears. Now they are doing something about it. We'll talk about their grand gesture and a World Series first pitch with a flip and a twist. It's worth seeing again and again. We'll be right back. Local forecaster weather is brought to you by Art Van Furniture and Mattress.